uh, we'll do a little bit of a Q and A and just go over, I'll answer all your burning questions. If you got to take off, take off. You've been here for 16 minutes. That's pretty good. I appreciate you stopping by, but that will do it for today's news. Now let's jump into a little Q and A and go from there. So <laughs> Jupiter, Jupiter says my lost 40 K Luna would like some regulation. Yeah, exactly. I know people are like, we don't need regulation. Regulation sucks. And, da, da, da. and I'm like, you should talk to the people I talk to. Uh, it's amazing how your, how that policy in your mind shifts when you pretty much uh, put way too much money into a certain exchange, a certain protocol, a certain rug pull. Now you're like, man, I would, would have been nice to have a little regulation. And I know people will say, again, they'll say, well, you should have known better. You should have done your own research. You should have done a lot of more different things. Look, as smart as Simon Dixon is, who is Bank of the Future, pretty much bailed out uh, Bitfinex, early Bitcoin adopter, early investor into, into Coinbase and a bunch of different exchanges, even he had $10 million on Celsius. And even as much as Mike Novogratz has been in the game, in traditional finance, and due diligence and uh, DECA millionaire and, and how our big Galaxy Digital is, even with all that and the people doing their due diligence, he still got a tattoo of Luna on his shoulder. So I got to tell you, I think there's a bit, there should be a little bit more transparency about what's going on, but that's just my two cents. You're welcome to, to sound off in the comments section, but it just seems like sometimes doing your own research, we get handicapped because we don't have access to all the information that we all should know. Anyhow, all right. Addy says, uh, Bitcoin and Solana purchased today. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty good time, I guess, dude. Uh, so Jitbug says, hey, Rob, how did your younger self start investing? Where'd your initial cash to invest come from? So I didn't really get into the crypt or uh, to the traditional finance and stocks and things like that. I never really understood it because I'm like, I, it just seemed like a big, really a big Ponzi to me. I didn't really get it. So what I did was over time, uh, I was, like I said, I was in the military. Uh, I, was a, I was a medic. Then got out, became a 91 whiskey. Well, I was a 91 whiskey. Then an RN. Then I went into management. Then I went into device sales. And I just saved all my money. And as time went on, I just got into, me and my wife got into real estate. Because this was back in 2006, 7. Then, of course, 2008 and 9, when everything crashed down, uh, we picked up some pretty cheap stuff along the way. And it worked out pretty well again, but this was just a time, just time in and just saving and really not, not buying stupid Lambos or stupid things that just are ridiculous. I'm not talking about like, like I always hated that, that one thing about uh, how, well, just, if you just avoid buying Starbucks, you can be a millionaire. That's stupid. Really what it comes down to is that you have to find the investment that works out for you that you believe in and just get draws you to it. And of course, Make sure that it's, it's right for you. And then just get in. I, always, I never understood the whole point of sticking my money into a savings account and letting that grow because I'm like at 0.04% or whatever it is. Like, no, it's dumb. So, Jitbug, to answer your question, <laughs> it was just time, time in. And then uh, we did some other things along the way. Uh, we bought some, some cheap land a long time ago and just let it appreciate. Now here we are. And then, of course, I got in 2017 for crypto. And it wasn't that much but it was a good amount to, to see it lose 95% of its value, 85% for Bitcoin and 95, 99% for alts in some cases. And I just said, well, I'll just stick around like I did before and just keep uh, putting a little money into it and just see where it happens. 2021, it paid off. And now I'm in the same position as I was before. Uh, I took some profits in 2021. You guys know about that. I've talked about that on the, on the show. I feel like 2022 is the 2018. I'm like, well, I'll just do the same thing again. And uh, that's my plan. That's it. Old Bear, what years are you going to basic training? I was in from 97 at uh, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Blech. Worst place of all time. And then I did uh, uh, AIT at uh, Sam Houston, Fort Sam Houston, San Antonio, Texas. Great place. That's where all the medics go, though. Uh, let's see. No, <laughs> no, something other than inflation eating it. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Dementia will fix it. I don't know what that is. 
Let me just it, Rob. Sure, it's not investment advice. Like, I don't think I gave any there, so I think I'm okay. Greed and trust equals wreck. Not pretty much true. 20% on a stable coin was in no way sustainable. That's true. Yeah. Real Raid said, should listen to Rob promoting Celsius. Oh, I talked about Celsius a lot. Did I not? I talked about Voyager a lot. Did I not? I am not here to hide that. I think we're all there. However, having said all that, remember as time went on and we talked about the rules, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Don't leave things on exchanges. I talk about the ledger. You should put this thing in ledger. I get it though. And then of course, June 12th, I came out and I go, look, I was just a consensus. And there's a lot of chatter about Celsius. I think if you don't feel it's right, take your, your crypto off. Is it really worth the yield? That was at 11 a.m., roughly 8.30 p.m. They shut down withdrawals. Next week after that, found out that Voyager had given a loan to Three Arrows Capital roughly 640 million, something like that. And I found it was uncollateralized. And I'm like, nope, I can't leave anything in there. And I said, I'll, and I said, I'll probably still keep using Voyager because I like the rates and super simple. I'm not going to leave a bunch of my crypto on there. I didn't. So I pivot when the information comes out and I figure it out for myself. And that's, and I talked to you about it too. So hope that made sense. All right. And also, if you're looking for those videos, the Voyager video, which I put out, and the Celsius video, it's in the description of every one of my videos. So if you go to, I'll show you right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ugh. What happened there? What? Da, 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 da. Aha. There we go. So in the, in the description of every one of my videos, it says Celsius Voyager timeline, June 12th, oh, 11 a.m. Take the crypto off. And then there's the link to the video. June 12th, 9 p.m., withdrawals frozen. June 20th, five rules set permanently. June 22nd, take all crypto off Voyager ASAP. There's a link to the video. July 1st, withdrawals frozen. That's it. So, I mean, we can talk about it. I mean, I talked about Celsius a lot. I talked about Voyager a lot. You know who else talked about those things a lot? A lot of other people. A lot of people figured it out before me. When I figured it out, I told you about it. Same thing with Mike Novogratz. He figured out Luna a little too late. I'm sure he would have liked to figure that out before he got that tattoo. And uh, on and on we go. And uh, we are, I'm tired of talking about it. I don't know what else I can say. We're all in the big Celsius clown car together. That's right. And I still have crypto on there. So we'll see what it is. I listened to Rob as well to get out. Hold'em mode killed me and ran out of time. Yeah, it sucks. Stupid hold'em mode. <laughs> Seeing your name in that Celsius net worth side is certainly a mood. Yeah. So I didn't, and it was funny because like I was moving my crypto that day. I had an order in for three and a half because I always do test, I always do test transactions. I always because I don't want to lose anything. And uh, the first one went through and the next one was for three and a half Bitcoin and that just didn't go through. So whew, it's off being held by Celsius. What are you gonna do? I don't really care though. Uh, I think again, 2022 is just like 2018 again. And maybe, maybe the next bull run isn't until 2026, I don't know. That's fine. I'll just keep putting money in, keep doing things with, uh, uh, the Amazon business and online education site and sports facility, just go from there. I will tell you this though, in 20, 2018 is when I started my uh, um, Amazon business because I realized I wasn't going to be rich in crypto. <laughs> it worked out pretty well. Yeah, blame the root of the problem, Alex and his crew. It's true. This channel, Invest in the Best. Ooh, I got to watch James, see what he's up to these day. Uh, ooh, Vicky says they bought a stream deck. 
<laughs> okay, everybody. So you have a great day. See you, James. So that's it, guys. I know there's not uh, there's not really much to say. I think we said a lot uh, today, and we talked. We know everyone, everybody knows the CPI came up hot, which wasn't really surprising, right? Uh, I think maybe some people thought it would go down, but uh, I'm just I'm looking at them like I don't see how that's possible. And then uh, rates are going to go up, and it's like the market is just like we don't care. <sighs> I see some other problems coming in, but maybe I'm wrong. It's why I continue to micro DCA along the way. I could be wrong, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me understand about that in the comment section, but that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, all that great stuff. And uh, that is it for today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging with me and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.